Hey, what's up guys? It's King Tits Pro, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a sunburst effect within Photoshop CS6. And it's really easy. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this, or you could do it without the texture right here, but I, in my opinion, it looks way better. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in Photoshop. Let's begin. All right, so once you have created a new document, and uh, in my opinion, make sure that the background is set to transparent. That way we can work with something better. So there's nothing in the background, so we can start fresh. So we want to go ahead and select our colors. So uh, go down to the bottom left right here and click on this right here. What I tend to do is you want to uh, always choose a lighter color first. So as our foreground color, choose a light color. I'm going to be doing uh, like gray, like a light gray. I'm going to click OK. Then we want to choose a darker color, okay? So something like this. Once you have done that, click OK. Make sure you have it set. And you want to go over to our gradient tool. You can press G on your keyboard for the shortcut. Works, of course, both on Windows and PC, or Windows and Mac. Um, so make sure that you have selected our, you know, our gradient right here that we have selected over here and just click OK. Make sure it's set to linear, mode is normal, opacity 100%. And once we have all those settings done, go to the top of our document in the middle. Uh, you want to go ahead and hold down shift and click and drag to the bottom, just like this. Then go to filter, distort, and go down to wave. So number of generators, keep that at one. Wavelength, you want to keep that at 93 and 94. Amplitude, one and 999. And scale 100% and uh, make sure that our type is square. Click OK. Then you can have this, okay? So once we have done this, go back to Filter, go to Distort, and go to Polar Coordinates. Make sure it's set to Rectangular rectangular to Polar. We don't want Polar to Rectangular. It's gonna look a little weird. So just click OK, and you're gonna have this right here. It looks pretty cool. So we can, add, we can make this even better, okay? So um, I'm gonna add a texture. So I'm gonna go over to Window, this texture right here and I'm gonna just copy this right here so I'm gonna press command A command C to copy it and then I'm gonna go back to my picture you know adding a texture to this is gonna make the image look a little bit better it's not gonna look plain and simple uh, it just adds more uh, it's it makes the image more interesting to look at so I'm gonna press command V on my keyboard to paste this and this thing is humongous so I'm gonna that's what she said I'll make it a little bit <laughs> smaller here so I'm gonna go ahead and hold down shift to make it smaller. All right, um, so this is good. I'm press command enter to accept the changes. So now I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay or soft light. I go with soft light just cause I don't want it to be too harsh on the image. And then I decrease my opacity to down to about 65 around there. Um, so once you have done that, you could actually change the color if you don't like it. Just make sure you have this right here. Make sure you have our, our sunburst, you know, selected. Go down to here. Uh, it should be the uh, new adjustment or fill or adjustment layer. So I'll click on that and go to hue and saturation. Before you start, make sure you have colorize checked and then you can change our hue to whatever color you like. So you can make it pink uh, or pink ish blue and you could increase the saturation to make it a little bit deeper more uh, strong of a color i tend not to i keep it around 35 and um so yeah if this helped you in any way please leave a rating below in the ratings section because that will be much appreciated and i will catch you guys on my next video peace